Congratulations on your choice to hire a quick-filled water tower. We hope you'll enjoy, as many clients before you have, the savings in time and consequently money that a quick-fill tower can provide to your site. Please use this video in conjunction with the online competency course at www.australianwatertowers.com.au to obtain a certificate of competency in the recommended procedures for mobilising and demobilising your quick fill water tower. Also ensure that you comply with the relevant statutory and site workplace health and safety requirements. For safe operation, please follow the instructions precisely. Before the tower arrives on site, a pad must be prepared. The pad needs to be a minimum of 7 by 7 metres and must be capable of supporting the tower's approximate weight when full of 27 tonnes. Clearance for trucks up to 3200 mil overall height is available from a tower erected on flat ground. If your vehicle's larger, you must create a higher pad or lower the truck roadway to compensate. There must be a 100 mil set down between the tower pad and the truck driveway to allow spillage from accidental overfilling of the truck or rainwater to flow away. Both of these can compromise the integrity of the pad which is supporting the 27 ton full tower. The tower will be delivered laying down on its skids. Empty, it weighs about 6.5 tons. There are two lifting points in the middle of the tower for unloading from a truck if needed. Position the tower so that when it is stood, it will be at the centre of the pad. Before standing the tower, there are procedures to be followed. Firstly, you'll find tools, spares and an instruction manual in a black box in the tower assembly. Spares are provided in case of gasket or valve damage. The first job is to remove the lock on the internal float valve arm, which involves climbing inside the tank. The next step is to attach the truck fill pipe. First, remove the black pipe and the pipe stays from the travel brackets. Bring the pipe out and around to the side where the valve adapter flange is located. Bolt the pipe to the valve adapter flange. There's a fixed cradle to assist in location and you'll find the bolts either in the toolbox or on the flange. Attach the pipe support stays to complete the process. Now you're ready to stand the tower. Once again, ensure that when stood the tower will be in the centre of the pad. Detach the master link from the travel shackle. Attach the approved lifting device directly to the link. Do not add extra chain or a sling. The tower must be raised slowly and smoothly, taking care not to damage the lid of the tank with the hook. Best results are achieved by keeping the boom as close as possible to the top of the tank. Once the tower has been stood, release the lifting chain by unhooking from the lifting ring at the bottom of the tower. Use the lifting machine to draw the chain through the top beam so that disconnection is within easy reach of ground staff. Disconnect the master link and lock to the lifting ring using the recovery chain to prevent tampering. Now it's time to secure the tower. Swing all four of the support legs out to 45 degrees and lock them in position with the pivot pins provided.
In the storage section, you'll find four sole plates. Place these on the ground, centrally, under the screw jacks on each support leg. The jacks are only to be used when the tower is empty, and their purpose is to level the tower before being wound back. They are not meant to be the prime means of supporting the tower. The idea is to use the jacks to level the tower, then place packing under the skids, then wind the jacks back. When done properly, the jacks provide additional stability as well as preventing theft of the sole plates. Lock the jack handles in position to prevent tampering. Now it's time to connect the plumbing. The inlet pipe is for connecting the water supply. The centre linking pipe is used only if linking multiple towers and the return line returns excess water to the source when filling from a pump with an approximate water flow of 25 litres per second. Connect the 100mm inlet piping to allow filling by either a standpipe or a pump. If you're using a pump, you might have to connect the 80mm bypass return line. Check that the valve is open before pumping. Do not climb tower under any circumstances. Regularly check the tower platform has not subsided and that the tower remains level. If a storm capable of destructive or cyclonic winds threatens, ensure the tank remains full or preferably lay the quick fill tower down. The tower must be emptied and laid down before being relocated. Once the tower is full, it's ready to use. Simply drive the water truck in under the outfall and pull the lever. Filling should be complete in less than a minute. To disassemble the tower, the assembly procedure is followed in reverse. First, disconnect the plumbing connections and make sure the tank and all plumbing pipes are fully drained. Next, the jacks on the support legs must be fully raised and the pivot pins removed before the four legs are folded in to meet the tower. Replace and lock the pivot pins. Lock the jack handles. Next, secure the outer legs using the turn buckle which connects the screw jack to the tower support frame. Don't forget to store the sole plates using the pin and lock provided. Now it's time to lower the tower to its travel position. Unlock the master link from the lifting ring and attach it to the lifting machine. Have the machine raise the chain while pulling the lifting hook down using the 6mm recovery chain attached. Next, attach the lifting hook to the lifting ring and arrange the hook and recovery chain in the travel position and lock the chain. Move the lifting machine slowly backwards to allow it to gently lie the tower down.
Once the tower is lying on its skids, unhook the machine from the master link and attach the link to the travel shackle. To prepare the tower for travel, lock the float arm valve and then lock the tank lid. Next, remove the 300mm outlet pipe and store the pipe and the pipe stays in their travel brackets. Secure them in place and fold the water sock up into the end of the pipe. Lastly, place your bolts, tools and spares in the toolbox. There are 17 locks that should be in position now, 13 standard and 4 long shank. If they're all in place, the tower is ready to travel. For more information, visit our website at www.australianwatertowers.com.au